Crazy Pixel. <laughs> There is a demand for quality in the visual novel community, and no developer is held to that standard quite like Developer Key, known for Clan Ad, Angel Beats, and other tearjerker titles. Now, the developer's newest title, Summer Pocket, has arrived in the West, and whether or not it builds upon the key seal of approval wasn't really what I had in mind when going into it. Instead, I focused on the story that this specific title was trying to tell without holding it to a standard created by the developer's previous works. Summer Pockets opens by introducing Heidi Takahara, a self-deprecating 17-year-old who is at a crossroads in his life. This is shown within the first 5 minutes of the game as players need to make a choice for Heidi that comes up in many later scenes. His reasonings for going to the island is surrounded by loss as his grandmother had passed away, so he'll be cleaning up her stuff with his aunt. As a lead, Heidi is somewhat complex and in tune with his emotion. He often gets lost in negative thoughts which leads him to get sidetracked or in situations he might not want to be in. There are a few things that loom over him that you won't discover until the true ending, but all that information comes with time. The themes of an adventurous summer vacation reign true through each moment of the story. The moment Heidi arrives, he is given access to a motorcycle that can take him anywhere on the island. As he explores, he meets new people who will shape his summer experience for better or for worse. These characters are huge personalities and portray your standard ragtag group of friends well. While each character has unique characteristics, they aren't too overbearing or in your face. The best way I can describe their writing for them is to compare it to the likes of those 80s high school movies. They riff off each other naturally, which makes it easy to sit back and enjoy whatever comes up next in their adventure. As the days of summer pass, players can make choices about what to do, but sooner or later you'll be locked into one of the four heroin routes with a true route to follow. The romance between Heidi and the girls is rather pure as they each have something to offer him. Each pairing seems so believable that it only shows just how full of life Heidi actually is even though he might not think it himself. Still, these routes mainly focus on the girls and how they fit in his life, which is fine because I love them all, but I mostly enjoyed the more imaginative elements of the stories as supernatural moments do occur to add a bit more magic to their love story. Each route is terrific but getting the most out of the true end does require the player to want to know more about Heidi. Given that this summer has a time limit, so do the relationships created. However, that's not really the focus of his troubles. The true ending is enough, but if you're looking for Heidi to run off into the sunset with Best Girl, well, that's not gonna happen. Still, there are achievements in the game that the players can get by completing specific tasks throughout the story or choosing the correct responses. It gives players a reason to go back and play the game again if you're a completionist, but that's mostly it. Strange the text doesn't fit in the boxes of the achievements, but I imagine this is something that can get patched out later. During gameplay, players can also enjoy mini games, which can be skipped without consequence. However, I thought they were fun and broke up the narrative. Aside from that, players do make a lot of choices during dialogue, more than most visual novels, so expect to be interacting with the story often. The character illustrations are lovely for each of the heroines. However, I thought the male illustrations were rather generic. Still, the male supporting cast characters add so much to the comedic nature of the story that I can look past that. The CGs themselves are each as beautiful as they are romantic, and the soundtrack only made the story better. Summer Pockets reads like poetry. The story filled me with summer vacation nostalgia as I spent more time on the island. Each of the routes is memorable and unique, which is a testament to the excellent character writing. The story ends up being the visual novel that I didn't know I needed, and can take anywhere from 30 to 40 hours to complete, but along the way, you're in for some excellent moments of narrative storytelling. Be sure to have a box of tissues handy if you're sappy on love stories, because you'll need them. Noisy Pixels giving Summer Pockets a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixels.net. Noisy Pixels is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.